Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day, nice and early. Sun is out, shining. I'm on my way to the barber shop to get a haircut. Um, then I'm recording a video for Instagram, like I mentioned in uh, one of my previous videos. Then after that, I will be going home detailing my car. Got a big uh, car event this weekend. Car filled weekend is gonna be a good one. But anyway, let's go to the barber shop, get this haircut, and uh, we'll proceed from there. <laughs> And like I mentioned, Saturday I just got cars and coffee and then a big uh, racing event here in Bradenton, Florida that I'm super excited about. Some big YouTubers are going to be there, so it's going to be a really good event and I want to get the car looking as best as possible. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on it just because I need to work on this Corolla as well. Need to work on the Corolla. Um, I think I might need to put a new battery on it. Best case scenario, worst case, it might need an alternator. I need to get that fixed, get it on the lot, get it sewed. And then I want to detail or clean up the truck that I've been using here for the last week or so. Um, she's a little dirty. Fender wells in there are a little dirty. So I just want to get her cleaned up. So I uh, got some stuff to get done. So let's get it going. All right, guys. So I was going to tackle this first. First, but my WD-40, I can't find the top here. So, and WD-40, if you other guys didn't know, it's it's really good for adhesives. It it takes them off, it removes them well. Um, it's what I use whenever I put on my the MMD spoiler. The old one had 3M temp tape, and I removed that with WD-40. Doesn't hurt the paint. As soon as I finished, though, I did clean it off and give it a quick wax just to protect the paint. But this is broken. I don't want to go to the store right now, so we're just going to proceed with first off removing this here. So let's go. Took it off with my bare hands. So the stickers left a little bit of uh, glue residue. I'm going to attempt to use this, kind of just do this here and press down and some comes out. So I'm gonna just use a regular paper towel to do that and not waste a microfiber towel on it. So let's see if it works. It did seem to work for the most part, so I'm gonna just go ahead and hit the other side off camera real quick. All right, y'all, so I cleaned the window off with some uh, just wind glass cleaner just to get the WD-40 off of the glass itself. But I'm just gonna hit it real quick with a spray wax. I got the uh, Adams Detail Spray. I really like this stuff. This stuff's really legit. Um, I actually got a small bottle of Top Coat. I don't know if you guys heard of it. I've seen it all over Facebook, Instagram. And they ran a promotion where they were giving away free small bottles. I got the free small bottle and I lost it. But anyway, we're just going to hit it with this Adam's Detail Spray for now. I think I'm going to try to get Top Coat again just because I've heard so much about it and I want to try it for myself. But for now, this stuff is great so we'll use this.
right guys, so I got her spray wax down. Um, I'm gonna clean the inside real quick, vacuum it, get that done. Um, I might do a leather conditioner, depends if time, uh, if I have enough time. Wait a second, I got, I got this. This is what I watch guys, wait a minute. The motivate the myself side. while cleaning my car. Not get this stuff all over ourselves, which Matt Mormon from the Garage. You guys are checking my But anyway, now the other side. He's he's a de uh, detail guru. But anyway, let me do the inside. I'll pull it out so you guys can see it, um, how it looks. Again, the Adam spray wax, legit. I had a few um, water marks on the paint, and that spray wax took it right off. But um, let me do the inside and uh, we'll proceed. All right guys, so I got the inside cleaned up somewhat. Like I said, I'm not doing a crazy detail on it. Um, I just use a, I think it was a Meguiar's interior detail spray, nothing major. Um, but let me show you where I'm at so far. So that Meguiar's detail spray actually does really well. Uh, I know it's hard to portray it in camera, but inside of that car has been cleaned up got the rugs out i am going to power wash them most likely and then uh i'm about to hit the seat with a leather conditioner uh let me show you what i'm using here bam that's what i use so at least that's what i've been using this a grill it's a three-in-one leather nothing major um i know there's a lot of product out there for leather uh conditioning deep cleaning you know then sealants conditioners etc etc but I'm just doing this three in one nothing major um, I'm just gonna wipe it on there again time is of the essence I don't have a whole lot of time to spend five hours on a detail on my car so we're just gonna hit it with this real quick and uh, I'll show you guys the results and all I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna just put some of the leather conditioner on a microfiber towel wipe it on the seats and call it a day all right guys got it done as you can see um it did clean the seats off a lot especially the driver's seat um i don't know if any of you guys ever experienced it but let's say you buy a new pair of jeans you know the tint of the jeans will tend to stay on the seat itself it gives it a, a light sheen that will go away some um i don't like my seats to look shiny but um i'm gonna take a, a, a second rag here and kind of just go over it to take off any excess uh, leather uh, conditioner that might be on there. But it did do a really good job. Uh, got the rag here. It's hard to tell there is a little bit of dirt on there, but nothing major. My seats weren't crazy dirty, but they did need at least something on them. Florida sun can be super harsh, so it's good to keep these seats, your leather seats uh, conditioned. Alright guys, so there she is after hitting it with spray wax, um, out in the sunlight, put some tire shine on, she looks pretty good, not half bad. And again, that was the Adam spray wax. Not too bad, um, I might actually hit the front with a paste wax as the bumper always gets the worst the event I'm going to on Saturday is about an hour away a bunch of back roads so I think I'm gonna hit it with uh, just a paste wax to protect it a bit more but she looks good again all I need to do is I'm gonna take the rugs I'm gonna power wash them um, that's probably gonna be it for this just cuz I got a lot of other things I need to take care of um, but yeah, I think that's probably it for that. Um, I'm gonna work on the Corolla, get this truck cleaned up. That's gonna take a while, that's a big boy. But, let's go. All right guys, so I just finished cleaning the truck. I didn't do anything special to it, so I didn't record it. But I'm on my way to get the battery checked on the Corolla to see if it's that or if it's a bad alternator. 
hoping it's just the battery so I can get that sucker sold. But anyway, I did want to say I'm by no means a professional detailer. I was just kind of showing you guys what I do to get my car prepped for a car show um, or an event. It's nothing special, like I said. I mean, the car's special to me just because I work very hard to get it. You know, it's not a Corvette, it's not no McLaren or Ferrari, nothing like that. But the car is special to me. Like I said, I work hard to attain that car. And any of us that work hard for anything, we always want to take care of it. So the car was much needed some TLC. Um, I've been driving it a lot to the auctions back and forth, putting a lot of miles on it, um, not having time to clean it. You know, and I didn't feel like I I had it clean just because the next day I was gonna drive drive it out of town again to go to the auctions. But um, I did give it some TLC just because I got these events this weekend. So, like I said, guys, I need to find me a beater car um, very very soon just because I'm putting a lot of use on that Mustang. And I honestly, at, for a little while there, I wasn't that excited about the car. Um, I think just because I have been driving it so much and that might seem contradictive, but it's not the type of driving that I mean, I want to do on the car. You know, I feel like it was more of an abusive driving just because going to these auctions again, I don't mean to repeat myself, but they're far. The nearest one is like an hour away. So we're talking about two hours round, round trip. The furthest one out is about an hour and a half, hour and 40, no, actually it's about an hour and 45 minutes. So almost a four hour round trip. Um, and it's all highways. It, you can't avoid the trucks. You can't avoid, you know, the rocks kicking up on the car and all that stuff you can't avoid. So I just felt like I've been putting the car through a lot of abuse lately. So I wasn't as excited um, about the car as I've been before. But giving it some TLC today definitely rejuvenated, rejuvenated, rejuvenated. Got me excited again about the car. Let's just use that word. But again, I just want to iterate. I'm not a professional detailer or any anything of that sort but I appreciate you guys turn, tuning back in um, some excitement footage coming this weekend I'm really excited about this weekend so stick around for that if you have not subscribed make sure you do so hit that like button and uh, don't forget be great I'll catch you guys on the next one